In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new customized navigation bar for the North Star system. I'm going to create the third navigation bar in the package, but this is the same steps you would have to take to create your own navigation bar with your own artwork and your own settings. Start by going to game objects, go North Star. Recently, I just simplified this to create window and then we can drop dock this wherever. Uh, you can see we have two navigation bars already. This is number one. If we go to number two, uh, there's an option there to confirm you want to change it and then press play and things should just work to the settings that are set for number two versus number one. Here's number one. Uh, again, the settings are specific to each navigation bar, um, but they, you can share settings if you want to. Uh, often time though, the size of different things and, and the UX you're looking for is going to be unique to that navigation bar. So we're gonna start by copying one of these navigation bar objects. You could go through the whole setup by adding the scripts, but it's way easier just to duplicate one of these. So just select that and uh, command D on a Mac or the appropriate key on a PC. Now, when you reload or just click into the compass and radar menu here, we get the, um, I'm gonna rename this to be North Star menu, I think, but we get the navigation bar three. Now it's just a copy of navigation bar two, so nothing really has changed. So let's go ahead and open up this prefab here and start by changing the artwork out. So I already have uh, our horizontal line three I'm gonna use up here I'm gonna throw that up there. So we're gonna leave that there and come out of the prefab and then let's load it up in the scene by clicking the button here and now we have it in the scene the rec transform is currently set to the same as number two we're going to keep these settings because the bar the bar in artwork includes these arrows and if it stretches wide or gets squished those arrows won't quite look right and so we're going to leave it as this but we are going to raise it up so that the position is uh just higher up on the screen there all right, so we still have all these evergreen objects here. I'm just gonna press play and we're gonna see what it looks like so we can see what we need to change. So we have our tick marks and our, our cardinal directions working and you can kind of see at the top, we have the icons. If we zoom in on the scene view over here, you can see that the icons are now currently on top there. Their Y position is too high. So we're gonna have to modify settings for that. We also have, if you see as the cardinal directions move off, and come in from the side they're going over the circle so we can modify that as well we can start with the navigation bar three here we will keep our visible angle to be 180 degree 180 degrees and then for this one we need the fade we want the fade to happen before 90 degrees the edge of the bar is at 90 degrees one half of this visible angle that's 90 degrees left and right we have the circle here so i'm going to start the fade at 70 degrees and end it at 80 degrees uh, we're going to override and apply all those override settings to the prefab. Now, when we press play, we can see that these cardinal directions will fade out as they get close to the edge there. So that's going to be a little bit more of a pleasing look there. Now, we also have the North Star overlay settings. This is currently set to the default settings. And I'm going to change this because I'm going to have unique settings for all of these as the, as the default. So we're going to duplicate that one so we save what we currently have. And I'm just going to rename this something to be say nav bar three uh, default settings. I like to be very descriptive with my names so that they're easier to find. And we can drag this up here or we can just select it from the drop down here. So now when we change the settings on this, we won't be changing the settings on the other navigation bars. I'm going to leave the options here the same we're only going to be handling the default positions on the navigation bar so let's just start by we're going to make the y position zero that's the y position of default objects so let's head back to the navigation bar and look at all of these ticks we've got nav bar two ticks and directions select these arrows to select the objects in the scene here and we can see that i've organized these into nav bar two and so we're just going to change this to nav bar three i'm going to duplicate the whole folder we got navbar three, and then I'm going to rename these to be navbar three because we're going to change their settings. All right, so a little bit tedious uh, clicking and typing, but we've got all of these navbar threes here. So let's go ahead and look first at our tick marks, and we can collapse these a little bit, clean that up. So we have the tracked target overlay here, and we see that our direction tick. We're going to keep our the target type to be direction tick. 
keep our layer order the way it is. Uh, we have our position offset. And we have our North Star overlay settings. We're using North Star nav or navigation bar two cardinal direction ticks. So we're going to actually duplicate uh, both of these and make a version for nav bar three. And let's go ahead and drag this over into the North Star overlay settings. You can also choose this and just select it from the drop down list. It's a little off the screen, so we're just going to go down to um, and since we have to do this to all of them, you can also just use the arrow keys and go down to and hit return to select them as well. Now, again, if you don't need all of these ticks, these are at every uh, angle that's not a cardinal direction. So you don't need to do this if you don't need the ticks. It's up to you and, and your game. But you see the fixed value here that's already set. I find it easier just to duplicate it and do the clicking to, to change the settings than it is to st set these from scratch. We're going to do the same thing to the directions here. All right, now we've got the overrides here. We're gonna leave most of the overrides the same. The big thing that we're gonna adjust here at first is the Y position. Now, it's important to note that the values in the right column here are actually stored on the North Star overlay settings. All of these values are being pulled from that settings object and each object can choose whether it uses the default settings based on the navigation bar or whether it uses the special settings set from the overlay settings object here. So if I change this from negative 39 to zero, it's actually gonna change that on all of the cardinal directions. If we change it to 10, it's going to change that on all of them as well because they're all using the same North Star overlay settings object so we've set the Y position to zero, and on these we'll also set the Y position to zero, and then we'll modify it based on that. But first, we need to go back to the navigation bar here, and you notice our evergreen objects are the nav bar twos. So let's go ahead and replace those with the nav bar threes. We can just X these to remove them all, and then drag in the nav bar threes into all of these. All right, let's go ahead and press play. Now we see, since we've set these to zero, they are really high. If we open up the North Star overlay settings, we can actually change this value live. So we can see on the cardinal directions where we want them to be. Uh, so we'll put 30 and for the ticks, let's put this down at negative 42. You can also adjust the other options here and get the look you're looking for live. Since this is a scriptable object, the values you save at runtime will be saved uh, when you exit runtime as well. You can make the opacity smaller on the tick marks as well. All right, so now the cardinal directions look pretty good to me. They're much more faded than in the other look and that will match the uh, style I'm looking for with this whole transparent, um, this transparent look. You can see the transparency now, I guess, if I am not over the sky. If you're following this tutorial line by line, one thing you have to do after you've set these values, go ahead and click the navigation bar three here and click yes. The North Star screen overlay and the navigation bar should have the same overlay settings here. Uh, but if you are changing this live and you change the settings in the navigation bar, uh, and then of course you apply your settings to the prefab, this value will not have updated. So you might still be on a different settings here. And with that fixed now, we can see our icons on the screen. The wolf, berries, and other tracked icons are on the screen. If we go to our default settings here, we can change the values here and see them update live. So we're going to set these to be a little bit more appropriate for the size of this window here. There we go. So now they fit within the window and they're about centered uh, on the window as well. Now, fortunately for this, the settings on this target actually work well for showing the distance below the bar, which is ideal for this. It looks good, it's readable, so I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm not gonna touch that. But if you want to modify the values, the settings on this, you could go through the previous steps and affect that override as well. All right, so now if we go back to our navigation bar two, two and press play, we see the settings there as we've had them. And we can go back to navigation bar three and these settings are set as well. So that's how you customize the navigation bar. The other parts of the North Star system can be customized in a very similar way. 
And of course, check out the scripting documentation because you can override these values at runtime as well on an individual icon or on a group of icons based on their type. So for instance, if I wanted to highlight all these wolves, I could technically make them all bigger in the bar or a different color in the bar um, based on that. So there's tutorials on that as well. If you have any questions, let me know and come to the Discord. And I hope to see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.